Welcome back friends. Welcome to another video tutorial from Shomo's biology. And in this video tutorial we'll be talking about Golgi bodies. Okay. So we've been talking about different organelles or cellular organelles which are very important for uh, the functionality of a cell. Now Golgi apparatus is one of the very important organelle of eukaryotic cell. Because you know all the organelles that we talk about they actually present in eukaryotic cell here. So this Golgi apparatus is found in eukaryotic cell which is a, a single membrane bound organelle that helps in the sorting of proteins as well as the post translational modification of proteins. Okay. So mainly the Golgi body is connected with a system called GROEL. Okay. A system it's called as the complete mechanism with the nuclear envelope through the endoplasmic reticulum then the Golgi apparatus. Okay. So this is a transport system or machinery that is present inside the cell which is carried out sequentially by the endoplasmic reticulum then Golgi apparatus so that they can properly produce a protein then modify those proteins according to the needs and then they can also transfer that protein to the desired destination. So all these tasks are done by both endoplasmic reticulum and Golgi apparatus. While Golgi apparatus plays the vital role of protein modification and protein sorting. On the other hand, the endoplasmic reticulum is a place where the proteins are built. When the proteins are synthesized and inserted inside the endoplasmic reticulum lumen. And once the protein is synthesized, remember if you, if you uh, want to know more about endoplasmic reticulum and how it functions, you may watch my endoplasmic reticulum video. But here you know the endoplasmic reticulum it is a part where you know uh, it is more of a cisterny that are the sac like things which are joined with each other and they form uh, different clusters inside the cell the different areas inside the cell in those areas those endoplasmic reticulum have a lumen that is the inner internal side of the endoplasmic reticulum that lumen contains the properly produced protein because the proteins are synthesized on the surface of the endoplasmic reticulum because the ribosome or protein synthesizing machinery is attached to the membrane of the endoplasmic reticulum and once the proteins are synthesized those proteins are inserted into the lumen of endoplasmic reticulum and we know those endoplasmic reticulum are known as rough endoplasmic reticulum. Now once a protein is produced it is inserted inside the ER or endoplasmic reticulum then what we do that the portion of this endoplasmic reticulum as you go from inside of the nucleus to outside towards the cell membrane you will see those cisterny and their lanes and their obviously the, the breadth both of these things are getting smaller and thinner and in that case it is going to be a cluster of other cisterny that are arranged with each other which is smaller compared to ER but that structure or cluster is known as the Golgi apparatus or Golgi bodies. Now if you look at here from, from, the, from the outside it will look like that Golgi bodies are originated from the portions of ER. It's kind of a true in most of the cases. Now the idea is they form by attachment of fluid filled sacs with each other. So let me draw a situation here. The system that we want to draw is the ER. The ER let's say attached with specific regions. Let's say this one. So this one. So like that for example. So this is let's say the endoplasmic reticulum again bunch of other sacs attached with each other and right after that we have the Golgi and the Golgi we have different rooms for example ribosomes are sitting here remember ribosomes are sitting here it is they are making proteins so once the polypeptides are made those polypeptides are now inside those lumen of ER these are let's say the proteins okay okay so once the proteins are produced the proteins need to be properly folded now folding of the proteins can be done there or not or small modifications of the protein can be done you know the proteins that we see it's not the version how it is produced proteins all the proteins all the complicated proteins that you are looking for example hemoglobin it's a it's a complex structure of a protein but this protein is produced as a single polypeptide chain but then it is starting to fold and once it's folded then it provides us the complex structures now in this case 
the proteins are produced then it needs to be properly folded then again not only the folding but there should be chemical modifications of different protein amino acid sequence okay maybe methylation maybe acetylation maybe sumoylation different types of modification can be done maybe the sugar moiety could be attached with the protein to make it a proteoglycan or glycoprotein these things should happen now all these modifications of attachment of different groups chemical groups like this glycans and all these groups that should be attached to make those protein distant to the outer surface of the cell and all this stuff they needs to be modified and all these modifications are taken care of in the golgi apparatus so how once the proteins are produced now those proteins are parceled into small vehicle uh, or sacs that are formed at the terminal part of this endoplasmic reticulum so how you look here if you look at here you will see that they also start to have bulge out sections like this and that bulges can contain uh, some protein of interest now some of those bulge some of those bulge okay and let's say these bulges they are originated remember they are originated from the er itself now those those vesicles containing the protein components can go and fuse with other vesicles with each other and that will form if i draw that will form structure like this like this now in this case what we see all these vesicles can go and fuse for example this one this one let me draw it with the black color because this is the same vesicle it goes and fuse with this region of other cisterns okay now once it is fused that protein is delivered inside the golgi apparatus now inside the golgi apparatus there are enzymes there are chemical factors which will start to modify uh, the golgi apparatus more so once they will modify this region let's say this protein will be modified like like say mannan residue will be added or glycan residue will be added to make it a uh, glycoprotein now in that case once all this modification is done then they keep on shuffling or delivering these proteins inside sacs just the same manner and they can shuffle it in between so in the golgi apparatus it looks something like this something like this okay this is the structure of golgi apparatus and you know the interaction between the er and golgi apparatus this particular region and the very very first range of golgi apparatus cisterni that is in direct contact with er vesicles this region is known as cis golgi cis golgi on the other hand the portions that is that are present here at the end or away from the uh, or towards the cell membrane because this is towards the cell membrane this area is known as the trans golgi network cis golgi network trans golgi network and and those basic those cisterni that are present in the middle are known as the intermediate 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 golgi or intermediate golgi network cis network intermediate network and trans is once they prepare all those those proteins they are punched they are pushed inside the vesicles and they will fuse make the cis golgi network and those cis golgi network will slowly start to mature and how they mature they only start to fill this bulk as you see at the end at the end every time i draw some kind of a vesicle like bulk regions so once they form this vesicle like things and they deliver this protein segments and protein contents there at the end in both this case and then again it will be uh, pinched out and once it's pinched out it will form it will form another vehicle another vesicle like thing and that those vesicle can again fuse to the later on uh, the trans network or the intermediate network so by this manner one specific region so the formation of golgi apparatus is due to the fusion of all the cisterni or sacs that are coming from er and also in between the golgi apparatus the maturation also takes place by the movement of all those vesicle containing proteins from cis to the intermediate from intermediate to the trans and then finally you know the processes or chemical modification whatever they need to carry out it is continues to go on here inside all this golgi uh, apparatus how exactly i am not going to tell but for the basic idea modification takes place chemical modification 
as well as sorting of the proteins. Now, what do you mean by sorting? You know, a Golgi apparatus can be identified or can be visualized as a as a cargo delivery system, or you can say it's a centralized delivery system of inside the cell, a centralized transport system inside the cell, where it receives so many different uh, things, so many different cargos uh, which are destined to different regions or uh, destined to deliver to the different regions inside the cell. Now, maybe some of the proteins are destined to deliver it into the nucleus. Some proteins are destined to deliver inside the mitochondria. On the other hand, some proteins may be destined to deliver outside the cell as a secretory proteins. Now, those signals are present inside the protein sequence itself. If the protein needs to deliver itself into the nucleus, that protein will contain a sequence called nuclear localization signal or NLS. That is a stretch of nucleotide sequence specific to deliver it into the nucleus. If it needs to transfer into the mitochondria, it should carry mitochondrial localization signal sequence. Now, by guessing those signal sequence and identifying those signal sequence, Golgi apparatus can sort them. Let's say multiple proteins are there, and I am my job is a, as a postmaster to, to figure out where I have to deliver things. So I have a lot of letters coming in. Now I'll see the zones, and then I'll see the addresses, and then I'll see uh, the number of the street and all the stuff. So they separate based on where we need to deliver it, and then they push those things in specific vesicles. And then the vesicles will go. For example, if a vesicle is prepared to deliver the cargo inside the nucleus, it will go and deliver ca the cargo inside that. Now, if some vesicle needs to deliver itself into uh, outside of the cell, in that case, that vesicle will be prepared and the vesicle will go and that vesicle will fuse with cell membrane. And by that manner, it will deliver the contents outside the cell. Okay. On the other hand, that vesicle can also go into, let's say, nucleus. It can go inside the mitochondria with the help of those signals. Now, these are the two important functions that uh, Golgi apparatus play. The chemical modification, which is also known as the post-translational modification, because the modification takes place after the translation or protein synthesis process. And second thing is all this, this uh, sorting and proper delivery system for the cell. So these things, ER and Golgi apparatus, as well as all those vesicles, plays a vital role in the cellular transport machinery inside the cell. So that, in a sense, is Golgi apparatus. If you like the video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends, and definitely subscribe to my channel to get more important videos like that. Thank you.